Now I've got my trusty old Craftsman circular saw, or skill saw, as we've always called them. This one is, it's not that old, it's probably 12, 15 years old. But it's when our Craftsman still put out a great product. Uh, I have mixed emotions about Craftsman tools anymore, but this one seems to work good. Now before we make this cut, See if I can turn this around. I want to show y'all something that I see people do sometimes that I think is a mistake. Alright, the depth is set all the way down. Lows it'll go. Now see how much of this is sticking out? Well, maybe you can't see it. Hang on, let's move the camera right quick. Down, down, down we go. Get right there. All right, that'll give you an idea. All, right, all you need is one tooth past the thickness of your material. Now this one has a little hand lever on it. So lift it up. Go one tooth. All right, any more than that, your saw is going to bind in here, and it'll be harder to cut. Got it set just like that. My papa showed me that. So there we go. And my papa is, was always correct. <laughs> Especially about this kind of stuff. Alright, let's move the camera again. I'm going to make this one cut here. And the other cuts will be the same. Now I've got the whole piece on some risers to keep it up off of the table. Because I don't want to be the guilty one to cut a gouge in my new table. I don't want to be the first one anyway. Alright, see, I think you can probably see it right there. Watch your volume. Get that cord out of the way. Let's see, move the camera one more time, show you one more thing. Now I cut it, I left, I left the line, most of the line. And the reason I did that, because I can take the sander and sand down to it. Cool. Alright, we'll do the other side, then I'll do the cross cut. And we'll look at that. Alright, there we go. Now this is the footboard. And before I transfer it to the other one to make it the same, I'll get the belt sander out, smooth everything, sand all these down to the line like it's supposed to be. And I'll probably go ahead and install this piece that goes here for um, extra strength, a little extra support. I have some more of the same kind of material in a 1x4 which will work just fine. And that will also cover up this little gap here. Now keep in mind this is going to be painted. So little imperfections will never be seen. If it was going to be stained, it would be a whole different process. But, uh, there we go. That will do it for right now. And we'll continue on uh, tomorrow. Alrighty, let's see if we can get this going now. The camera crashed on me this morning. I think I got it reset for now. I have got to invest in a new camera very, very soon. This one is so old. Anyway, got both pieces cut out. Sorry I couldn't show that to you, but there's still plenty left to do. Now, I've got my line here. This is where 
the brace for the bottom of the mattress will go and the bottom where the mattress sits put a brace here I've got it all measured and lined out I'm going to glue it down spread this glue out set it in place now I'm going to pin it down with my brad nailer this is a porter cable the absolute finest tool I've ever owned most handy anyway. Okay, I got some inch and a quarter uh, brads in there. Should work just fine. I think a couple more wouldn't hurt nothing. Right there. This is actually my second brad nailer, second porter cable. I wore my other one out. And it can be fixed. I just gotta one of these days send it into the factory and, or somewhere and have it worked on. And I think one of the seals went out in it. And we'll put some glue on this one, do the same thing. A lot of people don't spread the glue like that, and uh, that's fine if you don't. I've done it either way too. It just seems to go seems to go a little better when you do. Gives you a lot more surface area. That way you know you're covered, especially on parts like this where you'll never see it. If a little bit squeezes out. Hold up right there. That one there. making sure they didn't come through if they didn't it's good when you get down with an air tool like that never leave the air plugged in that just puts that much more pressure on the, the seals and everything in there because I'll use it again here in a little bit but it'll be a little while alright that goes there now I've also installed these bottom cleats here that I was talking about yesterday. I'm in a sort of a time, not a crunch, but I'm in a, I want a schedule. This has got to be finished today and ready for paint. So I think I can do it still early in the morning. Uh, Mama's going to do the painting. So uh, she said she wanted to do it and I said, Yes, ma'am. Y'all know how that goes. <laughs> Alright, now I've already got the sides cut. The bottom side, I may put another piece on top of that. We'll see. Now I've got to get everything arranged around to where I can do that. I'm going to do that same way. I'm just going to pin it with some uh, brads. And then I'll come back and put a couple of screws in there. Just to make absolutely sure. We don't want big man falling out of the thing or it coming apart on us. Alright, be back in just a minute. Let's just hope this camera holds up. Alright, got the bottom panel in. I'm going to put the top panel in. 
Oops. Move it up. Whoever that is dinging me can just wait a minute. Set it right there. This is where you need an extra two hands. Attack it there. Yeah, 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 I'll be back in there. Yeah, you got a tack for it to stay there for just a minute. I'm going to take a clamp and put on here. Sorry, I couldn't move the camera and do all that at the same time. Alright, I'm going to leave the clamp right there where it's at. Let it tack up and dry a little bit. Then I'll rotate it around. And we'll put a couple of screws in here. And I've got one more piece that joins on the top of here. And another piece that goes in the bottom for a brace. And then the bottom piece, which is right over there. I've got to cut it. It's a piece of a very, very thin oak plywood. And we're not far from being finished. Final sanding will be take the longest. It's looking good. Got the half moon they wanted in there. Looks more than, looks better than just a piece of lumber laying there, huh? <laughs> Alright, be back in a little bit. Alright, I got it turned upside down. Got my holes drilled here for the screws. Now I've countersunk these holes with a 3 8 bit. I'm going to take this 3 8 dowel rod after I put the screws in. Put it in, cut it off, and plug those holes so where you don't see the screws. Now, I've done that many, many times. There we go. A little bit of glue still squeezed out of there. It works good. And I'll show you what they look like here in just a little bit. Go ahead and put these two in on this side since I'm right here. So I got them in my hand. Absolutely sure we just hit the center. Yep. Now I'll go around and do the other side. And we'll continue on, continuing on. Oh, one more thing I did. Let's yeah, see, let's lift the camera up. Put the bottom brace in. So when the board goes in the bottom, got a brace right there. Glued and nailed in. 
Look, last one. Thought I'd show it to you right quick. Put a little bit of glue on that dowel. Stick it in there, take the little coping saw and cut it off. Little hammer. Make sure it's seated all the way in there. Now when those dry good, I'll take the belt sander, knock them flush, and everything come out in the final sanding. Good way to hide screw holes. Now I am going to have to put one more piece in here, a small piece, and we'll get to that here in just a little bit. folks there we go ready for paint rocks back and forth got the half moon cut out mama wanted that is the oak bottom mattress should fit in there really really snug because I measured it like 15 times before I even started building <laughs> now this is the end the footboard there's the kid. <laughs> He's working on some leather today while it's raining. This side headboard. Now if I was going to stain it, it would have took about 10 more hours of sanding. But being as it's going to be painted, all the little imperfections will be covered up. I didn't take every little solid piece of line out of it because it's all going to be covered. I put the screws in. I showed y'all where I put the uh, the plugs in to cover the screw heads. There they are right there. Not too shabby. The old man still got it. Sort of, I think. But, uh, <laughs> now I'll make a little very small part three once it gets painted. And Mama's going to do that probably tomorrow. Because uh, she's got a uh, number two grandson today. He's in the house having himself a ball. He loves his granny. Uh, we just got grandkids coming out our ears around here. <laughs> well, there we go. I hope you all enjoyed watching. I really appreciate you all watching. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for everything you do for this channel. Views, comments, all that. Leave me some comments. Good, bad, smart remarks, whatever you want to do. Leave them. And uh, I'll either answer them or I won't. So. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Baby crib is done. And I will see y'all in all my dusty glory. See you next time. You want to say bye? No? Bye, guys. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> See you all later.